In this video, we will demonstrate how you will integrate and charge with Bitform. From the Bitform dashboard, create a new form if not exists, or select any other form for in charge integration. We have three fields here. And we have selected the form at the front end to show. Now navigate to form setting and go to integration option. To create an integration, click on the new integration button and then select in charge. Here, you have to set an integration name and API key. To get a new API key, go to API console. Link in the description. Copy the API key and paste it into Bitform integration dashboard. Now click the authorize button. Then click on the next button. After successful authorization, here you can see the in charge field. Email is a mandatory field in in charge. You can add more fields. After successfully map fields, click on Next. Then click on the Finish and Save button. Here, we can see the newly created integration. Now navigate to the Conditionals Logics tab. Here, you can trigger any integration by setting conditions by your choice. To know more about Conditional Logic, watch our video about Conditional Logic, link in the description. Click on the record create slash edit from the action run when section if you want to run when a record creates or edits. Then check on form submit from the action effect section. Then click on always from the action behavior section if you want to run always without any condition. Then click on integration and select the integration name. Now update your form by clicking the update button now go to the front end of your selected form and type some information. Click on the save button to submit the data. After successful submission, go to form responses. Here, you can view the response. Also, check your in charge people. Thanks for watching.